Welcome to Thoughts with T. If you're watching for the first time, my name is Toyin, and here is Dennis. You must have met him before. So today we'll be talking about multi dating. So let's just get directly into the joke. People actually think uh, multi dating means uh, being in a relationship. They also think it involves sex. You're just getting to you know, know people. You're just eating. You're just going out. I just feel going attacked. out to 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 eat to hang okay. out. You know? What's your misconception? I, about I feel what? attacked. Like. Do, you, do you feel like multi dating is? <laughs> Do you feel like multi dating is multi relationship, or no. you understand it to no, be no, actually no. just going out? No, not it? not a relationship type. Okay. But um, I think as a person, everybody is influenced by their backgrounds. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, for example, here, she said it doesn't involve sex, mm -hmm. but I know days that involve sex. So, like that's that's a serious misconception, red that's, flag right there. No, it is a misconception that multi dating involves sex because no, 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 not that. If, it, if it involves sex, then that's just like casual dating. No, no it can happen. Really it depends have to on their own personality. It depends on the person personality. Yeah. Okay, okay, so person. it's, it's just getting to know people and eating food they buy yeah, for you. Going on it doesn't even necessarily have to be food. You could go to a movie. You could go. Yeah, you could go to the movie. So, you could even visit each other. Like yeah. it's just basically dating. Like just meeting each okay. other, Red spending flag time here. getting to know each okay. other. Red flag here. Okay. I I think from my bag, I don't think, and this is gonna be a huge blow up. Okay, okay. we're listening. Mm -hmm. I don't think a lot of Africans do dating. <clears throat> In my opinion, I feel like they do multi-date. They just don't know they that don't they know. are multi-dating. Because we don't define dating. We get to know somebody as a friend. Mm -hmm. In that process, you guys think, okay, we are cool together. It moves Or into you guys are not even friends at all. You guys, you just toast the babe. The babe likes you. you just that's the point. But that's, that's, that's also what like, um, you meet somebody, you go out with a person. Mm -hmm. It is more or less like a relationship, like it's getting into a relationship. And if the same person is found to be with another person at another time, like what we call multi dating, mm -hmm. the person will probably be perceived as a womanizer. That's what dating is. Okay. In as much as you're not exclusive with anyone, you're not in a relationship, you're not in a commitment with anyone, mm -hmm. you're just checking out your options. Like, and we need to clear out that misconception. No. Seeing different people at, at the time is not womanizing. It's not being a slut, it's not anything, you're just multi-dating and you don't have to be sleeping with these people, definitely. What does multi-dating mean for you? I think it's just a process or a procedure whereby I personally decided to do some window shopping in order mm. to get the best out of what I want. You, know? just you a, are at the window, but like yeah. the, the guy is like at the door. Yeah. <laughs> so for you, what does multi-dating mean? To get to know more than one person. Mm -hmm. in a way that could lead to an exclusive relationship no this is a very good definition do you see differently like do you see differently when it comes to ladies and guys do you think with ladies multi-dating should be treated differently or from a guy's perspective multi-dating can be seen differently i think that i'm i'm a huge believer of fairness so if it is good for the goose it's supposed to be good for the gander mm. if you um we think women mm. if the point is getting to know people Mm. then of course everybody has the right to get to know one or more or two or three people mm -hmm. in this world my only concern is the abuse of the term what i did so. so in everything there should be somewhere to draw a line yeah. yeah as a lady i'm supposed to be selfish though because he is the one that approached me he said he wanted me so it's not possible for him to want me i want other ladies you so, see wait 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 wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Wait, I don't want to be so partial, but I would think it's okay if you all think that is the best thing for us, then it's better. But sometimes it's also good for me. Mm -hmm. It's also good for me because I would also like you to go and do your little window shopping so that you can appreciate my own personality better. I would just be honest. My brain says <laughs> that for yeah. both genders, there should be multi dating and it should be seen equally because yeah, everyone is just trying to meet people yeah. and find out what's best for themselves. Of course. Now, my heart tells a very different story. How is that? Now, let me explain my heart to you my heart feels like guys generally go hunting and when they really find a lady they like they put in a lot of efforts like there's a lot of effort they want it and then the lady sees all of that and this might influence her decision at of the course, end of the day definitely now if a guy is doing this instead <laughs> what's your intention of putting this you already know you like this girl why are you going to another place so that's just my heart talking if you are going to say multi-dating is not exclusive why do you think it should be exclusive 
or the male don't have the opportunity to also more tidy because I and thought I, I, don't, I wanted rice, but I now I want already. To... But that my brain says a guy should. No, be yeah, able I understand to your brain. I want to talk to your heart. <laughs> but my heart says. I'm talking to your heart, not so your my brain. Heart says, if you really like the girl and you're really invested in how her, am I supposed to know I'm getting get to know you? Emotional energy. How do I know I really like you because I'm getting to know you? Is what, dating. That is what Most I guys said. before they approach, they already like really. No, that's an they assumption. Are already like attracted. To that's an girl. assumption. See, that is what I, Most guys come up to a girl saying, "I really like I you." No, they like your appearance. Look, that's what before, I'm saying. They before, like the cover. Yes, yeah, so I like to the cover. Know. Yeah, so get to see the Are you like Tony, a lot of covers at the same time? Wait, yeah, you went to a restaurant, right? You see a food on display on a platter, very, 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 very nice food yeah. mm-hmm. on display. But you taste it; it tastes like, excuse me, it's shit. You yeah. don't like the food. Mm-hmm. So the next thing you go to the next thing. Which leads us to my next question. Okay. So when you're multi-dating, you're a lady, you're a guy. At what point do you think you should definitely stop multi-dating? When you know. If this person doesn't call me, I don't hear from this person, I don't have any form of interaction with this person, I feel like going crazy. Then you know your choice. Then when you know I have who, reservations about of that. Of course okay. you would. Your heart says that. <laughs> okay. Also, Sam, Arietta, what do you I'm to say? going to say maybe what at a particular point where you think I think I would like to be in a serious relationship with this particular person. Yeah, and I'm cool. Do you with understand? That. When you realize mm-hmm. that you have a mutual feeling yeah then yeah. maybe they have to put of mutual yeah, yeah. mutual yeah. feeling of course, and of aim towards each other yes then probably all other options just, just, yeah just yeah and of course we're not trying to say that relationships are just about emotions of course whatever else is important to you in a person of course you have to consider these things among your options yeah. and make a decision based but at the point in which you feel like this is the person I want to be with. You're convinced this is the person I want to be with. Mm-hmm. Don't get tempted to continue playing on the sides. <laughs> Follow one. I'm not preaching, Sha. <laughs> Moving on. Do you think it is necessary to tell a person that you're multi-dating when you're multi-dating with them? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I won't do that. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. No. no it's okay. No, no, no. Harrieta, would you well, help? Because of the kind of person I am, I like to be blonde. Do you understand? Mm-hmm. But I've tried that before and never. It didn't work well for me. But I would have said it to be better. I would like. I would want you to. Yeah, I would tell you because I don't want a situation whereby you're gonna see me in the same restaurant, uh, way and then you see me with another person mm-hmm. or you see. So I, will, I have a way of telling. I would say. I would say. Because- it's not exclusive. I'm getting to know people. Yeah, I'll just. So tell why you. tell you? In the first place, why do you have an opinion about me? Because I'm sitting in a restaurant with another lady. She could be my friend. She could be a colleague. She could, she could just be anything but a girlfriend. Okay. So if you are going to feel jealous in a date, how much more a relationship? Then it raises questions about you anyway. I think that when you initially start dating someone, what you tell someone about yourself comes with time. You tell people more about yourself yeah. as you get to trust them more. So at the beginning. There's no need see, to start telling because you're just going to mess I'm up so the sorry. whole connection. Well, thing. See, let see. me let me finish. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> because I feel like you're going to mess up the whole connection thing. Your 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 opportunities to bond, mm-hmm. you might hamper it by making someone I else feel some sort of way. So I feel like there's no need to put in that information that you're multi date. Do you think it's emotionally or mentally healthy to multi date? If it is no feeling, no attachment, freaking hell, do what the hell you want. It's supposed to, if you are happy with it, if you are achieving the purpose of doing that. Do you think it's mentally absolutely. healthy? Absolutely, because you get Good to know one. people, you get to know different reactions, different yeah. emotions. Yes, well, and it helps you even be sure about what you really want about this person. That there's nothing with. that you can absolutely be certain of. Yes, but it helps you be more sure. I didn't say 100%, but you would be <laughs> more I, sure. I still think you would have more still clarity. going to be a risk, whoever you settle down with. Of right? course. We eliminated the risk. <laughs> <laughs> okay, to me, I would say it is sometimes it's uh, it can be confusing. Do you yeah, understand? so you think but not so healthy. Yes, exactly, and uh, it can be so taxing. But I think it's worth it because at the end, but it's fun too. It's, it's fun too, but I'm just yeah. trying. It's fun too, but at the end, it's Free, worth it because food, you, different restaurants. you have a aim, <laughs> and especially it's worth it if you are able to achieve your aim. Okay, what happens to ladies who come to date with their friends? Just to mess Who does that? Please stop, stop. I can't stop, say like, it. See, anybody that does that, anybody, just make sure whatever happens you intend by. Even that is even if you like her. I don't... Buy whatever happens you want to buy for her. Let her, let her share it with her friends. Who the hell is she that come? I'm, I'm okay, so know who the hell friend. it is, but ladies out there, don't do that. Don't do it. 
So he's going to feed you and then feed your friend? I have a friend mm-hmm. who's in north of Germany. Mm-hmm. He goes on so many dates, so I think he multi dates. Okay. okay, so he's multi dating. But, but he's in a Your friend in general. <laughs> he's in a relationship and he's still multi dating. Yeah, but the relationship is not like exclusive. Hashtag Playboy. No, the relationship is not exclusive. Okay, yeah, they both some. agree to they be in an yeah. open relationship. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yes, okay, that's cool. So like that. a... That's cool. That's an open relationship. Yeah, that's I've cool. Seen that. Actually, so. Actually, but so that's females... not really multi dating. So that's like... actually it's uh, it's involved. Sex Sometimes. Yeah, that's 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 not multi dating again. I feel like multi dating has a point to it. That is what I'm saying. In, that. in this one, this is like casual know. relationship. Okay. All about what? In this case, that nigga just wanna hit it and move it. No, I'm t- he's trying to he hits he gets to know you more and he's trying to know another person. He's that but person he's not like trying a, to get into a relationship. He is he's actually hitting, he is in a relationship already. No, it's not exclusive. But he's now looking for something that is going to be exclusive for him. Yes, that nigga be hitting it and moving it. That is not it's more dating. That's casual dating. About dating. About <laughs> what if you have been eyeing a guy from a distance? Are yes, you allowed to? Are you allowed to multi date in that circumstance? Like you do know that so, this guy. I like. When I already like a guy before they approach me, there's no such thing as multi dating. Nigga, I already like. <laughs> Let's move this forward. What because like what's the whole oh, point of multi dating? So that I can really know if I really Jesus. like. Okay, now what if the guy? Mm-hmm doesn't lose the communication with you for you to yeah. break off well it doesn't lose communication with me com- but because boy, it's still player. trying to not player this is still multi multi giving dating. full attention to both of them yeah, so probably they need to upgrade to that level you yeah. say you're already connecting to one and then you meet feeling. another one and it's like it's just that we have good conversations yeah, we have you know, sometimes you have even over time you don't get to feel about anything sports. about and them. And I think I feel yes. comfortable with them. You feel comfortable, so, but like, you know what I feel difference. like? Still, both of them, you will not date both of them. It's mediocre feeling. It's mediocre feeling. Nah. You need the hot passion one. That's what I'm saying. That hot that passion one is, is the is, one that will make you make that, a decision wait, faster. Wait. That's why, can I say something? Yeah, sure. That is why I said something before. That is sometimes it is very it's confusing. One of them has to stand out in some sort of way. Thank you. I said that I said, it will take a while for the person to come. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, and the only way it depends on your qualities, your your part, what I want, what I actually. If like I said, if I have like I have five good qualities I want in a man, maybe both of them actually have three out of five, which mm-hmm. is a good pass man. Nobody has it all, although, and then maybe if they have. A strong three so it's all about what i later want and i'll have to choose by this time you already know how we feel mm-hmm. but let's just put it out there oh, okay would you recommend multi-dating well, like i said because i my intention is to do a window shopping like i said the other time so i think here yeah, i will say yes yeah, the way for you to get to know what to choose someone for a serious relationship would you recommend multi-dating yes but don't tell anybody Okay. Don't tell. What about if it's caught? Don't tell. What about if it's caught? You don't. If I mean, there's no if, such you thing do, as being caught. If you're you're being caught for what? You're not doing anything wrong. Anything like okay, it's cool. I would say everybody is different. What works for one person may not work for the next person. I would say know yourself, know your emotion, know your senses. Be aware if something would confuse you, if it would benefit you. But from where I'm sitting, I would say yes, multi dates helps you realize what you really want, and I feel like it helps you stay more in your relationship because yes. you know what you dropped to of take course. this. So yeah. My last question. <laughs> okay. Can you have sex in your multi dates? I feel like for multi personality and sexuality. I feel like for more like dating, there shouldn't be any sex involved. And I feel like you just people protect themselves. You're yeah. just getting beyond. I'm the not saying raw sex. <laughs> I feel like you're getting beyond the limits of multi dating. Is you're getting to know someone. In my opinion, you have to be emotionally invested in someone. You have to be committed with the person before you try to. This is my opinion. That's an African definition. My opinion. Forget African. My opinion is who I am, my beliefs, my experiences, and who I am right now. In five years' time, I may be different, but who I am right now is. Mm Multi dating. How will you be different in five years? Because I change. evolve. Change is I don't constant. want to be the same then person in five years. Change is constant. No, no my principles might be the same, but my views might be modified of because course. I yeah. want to evolve. Just like, like, like something to spray on all this cake we've served you to eat. I would say, do you think it can backfire when you multi date? Yeah, absolutely. I also think it can backfire, hundred percent. Do you think it can backfire when you multi date? That is, if if you are truthful to the person 
and you like i said before i don't think this is going to backfire in your case in you were truthful case. but it still backfired well i did, really didn't feel it i didn't see it as as if it's backfire i just felt it's a better way of me getting to know the person too so i feel like it can backfire and i feel like if it does backfire maybe the person is not emotionally mature enough to realize that it's just more type dating and you're not committed to them or to the next person and i feel like this is mostly the only reason why it would backfire them. thank you so much for being here today i hope you have enjoyed this yep. i hope you have been entertained i hope you've learned something to like come your way again see we come your way again maybe 